Hello guys, what is up? This is Leo again and uh, today we will be um, giving you a tutorial on how to create a sales performance um, KPI in the Northwind Cube. If you haven't followed my um, previous tutorials on how to create the Northwind Cube and uh, how to create the order um, the order take order um, KPI um, be sure to look at those two videos but if you have already um, a general understanding of what the KPI is um, all you have to do is follow along and uh, pause whenever you need to okay so the first thing is to open up the sales cube in your Northwind tutorial um, project you should name it differently than I do okay so then, in the KPIs, you're going to see the order number here, which is what we did um, from last tutorial. But this one, we're going to use something new, something different. It's called the uh, sales performance um, KPI. Sales performance KPI. Um, and now from the book, you probably have something that's similar to this one, but make sure that you checked um, the exact same thing. All right. So in the book, this is different. All right, um, this is also different. So a lot of the things are different. If you met into, if you got into troubles, be sure to, um, look, uh, you know, check for everything over here. And then I think this is different. Um, yeah, I think this is different as well. So be sure to check those out, and then um, we will continue. Um, you can pause here just to check everything. I think we can, I can actually do per member here. All right. So just to make sure that you follow um, this part. Okay. So just like last step, we need to create a new measure called uh, sales performance goal. All right. I'm just going to copy and paste everything here. Is this thing end? Right. Copy. Boom. Let's go to SQL Server um, Data Tools. Um, new calculate member. And then in the expression, we should have uh, the uh, case statements. And in here, we will have sales performance goal as the name of the calculated member. And I'm going to copy and paste it here. Okay, so now we have this new calculated member. Um, note that in the uh, expression here, we use the sales amount which was not present in our cube structure. You see, there's no sales amount here anywhere. Uh, all right. Um, therefore, we need to add it. So how do we add it? We just, you know, create a new calculated member called sales amount. Okay. Sales amount. And in here, uh, I I want to check it up because uh, we have sales amount first and then sales performance goal. In here, the expression should be uh, measures error while the sales group has been updated on server. Okay, let me refresh it. Deploy failed. That's not good. Oh, well, probably because I don't I don't have anything here. Okay, let me reconnect. All right. So now expression is, so the sales amount should be um, quantity, all right, times unit price, all right, then times one minus discount, okay, and then this is the um, so that's not, of course, we need to subtract right from each of these orders. Um, so this is going to be our measures. Okay, so that's not measures. And then simply save it, process it, yes. Deploy it should be successful now. And then run. Okay, great. So now we have our cells. Um, of course, now we can go back to the uh, cube and do some little 
easy query. Of course, I'm going to do new query and dx. Okay, select cells uh, amount. Um, columns, house performance go, um, rows, brown cells. Easy, All right? And execute it. Um, and it says the measure here. Oh, sorry. So that measures the cells amount. Measures the um, columns, and then <clears throat> order date dot. Let me check that. All right, order date dot members on rows. That's good. It this will teach you an ambiguity. Uh, why is that? Oh. It's complaining because I did something wrong here. Okay. Execute it. And now we have Sasama. Alright. Uh, how come it's so negative? And then the numbers don't really change at all. Okay, um, well, it's because we didn't link the order date to the order details table and that all of the uh, all of the quantity unipresent something comes all from the order details. All right. Um, I don't really have a solution to that, but um, um, in order to create something that the text would said, uh, we can continue on and to create our new KPI. All right. So just in KPIs, new KPI. We call it sales. Performance. Okay, and then for the value expression, we can select. Um, oh, we're going to reconnect here, and then for the value expression, it's the sales amount, and for the goal, it's the sales performance goal. For the status indicator, uh, we will use the traffic light, and uh, just like the order numbers, we can just use whatever's in here. Okay, and then except that the actual KPI are going to be different. So what we have to do is research and replace, um, look in current block, All right? So we will replace order number into sales performance, All right? And replace all. There are four occurrences in status. And there should be more in in our trend. There are six occurrences. Okay, so now we process the cube. Yes, yes. And then run it. Now we are succeeded. And now, if you go into the browser, uh, you can see both values showing up for. Um, this thing. Although these values are not exactly correct, um, this is how you can actually uh, get the same thing as the book wanted. All right. Um, thanks for watching, and uh, I hope you guys know how to create KPIs now. Um, uh, KPIs and calculated members. All right. And uh, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.